if you get ch chance, can you discuss your tummy liposuction methods, please? There are different types, i.e. traditional vasor, just wondering which type you use, or do you utilize different types depending on the patient? Thank you, Rebecca. I got the chance. Yeah, I got the chance. Um, um, I'm here and I've got the chance. So um, there are different types of liposuction. So it's interesting you say tummy liposuction there because that's opened something up right there. So um, there are different types of liposuction. So liposuction is stick, sticking a tube in and, and sucking the fat out. So that's liposuction. So the sort of basic le level of liposuction is suction-assisted liposuction. BL. So that means basically you stick a tube in, you suck it out, and that's just liposuction. So you can have what's called power assisted liposuction, which basically is a machine which has got a tube, the, the metal liposuction tube or cannula as we call it, and you stick the cannula in and the, the machine goes backwards and forwards so that you go backwards and forwards as well, but it just makes it easier. You don't have to go backwards and forwards quite as much because the machine goes backwards and forwards. So that's power assisted liposuction. And that's what I use usually, power assisted liposuction. I don't know if it's a smaller volume, I'm happy to use suction assisted liposuction as a fat grafting. We use suction assisted, you just do it with suction on a syringe. But that's that's one. And then you can assist in other ways. So you can the other ways are delivering it, delivering energy to the fat before you suck it. And uh, the common ones are with laser energy or with ultrasound energy. Vasor is quite a, um, um, a popular thing, and people often ask for vasor. Quite uh, confusingly, vasor is ultrasound assisted energy, it's laser. You'd think vasor would be laser, wouldn't you? But anyway, it's not. It's ultrasound. But anyway, so vasor is ultrasound. There are laser assisted liposuction like uh, Smart Lipo and uh, others. Anyway, there are laser ones. And what they do is they deliver energy to the fat before you suck it out. And it's a bit more tedious to do because you have to deliver the energy first and then you have to suck it out. There are, going back in the day, there were worries that the energy could potentially cause damage to the skin and burn the skin and you, you used to see some awful pictures of burns i think they've got that sus now and i think they've got temperature probes and, and what have you so that they make sure they don't deliver too much energy to the skin so that you don't burn the skin um, and the good thing the reason that the the uh, vasa slash smart lipo and other sort of assisted forms are popular is because because you're delivering energy to the fat first you can use a smaller cannula and it's a bit less traumatic so therefore, it's often done under local insulation, as opposed to power assisted, which would probably or usually needs a GA really. So you need to have it under local insulation, smaller cannulas, and also they say, no, I don't do it, so I don't want to be, you know, I, I don't, I can't uh, attest to this. But they say that the the vasor or the laser, the assisted forms, because they're delivering energy to the fat and they're sort of heating the fat up it causes some degree of skin retraction. And so like you put there for t t tummy lipo. So you can use it on the tummy potentially because it might cause some degree of skin retraction. I don't know if it does or not, but because in my hands, I don't do just liposuction to the tummy. People often come and say, I just want a bit of lipo. I wouldn't do it because it doesn't cause skin retraction. If you don't get skin retraction and you have redundant skin on the tummy, you don't get a great result. So if someone comes to me and wants lipo to the tummy, I'm like, I don't think it'll be good, unless it's the upper abdomen. The upper abdomen works pretty well, but if you've not had any, so usually if you've had a tummy tuck and you've got a bit in the upper abdomen, you can do some lipo there. But usually if you've not had anything done before, it's usually the lower abdomen where the excess fat is more than the upper abdomen. And the skin doesn't recoil well, and so you can get a bad result. So I wouldn't do it, but I would say to you, look, you can think about these assisted forms like vasor or something like that, that might, you know, you have to speak to someone who does it and maybe you see if they've got some photos which say that they've had a good result. Um, just thought of something. Um, so, but, but I don't do it. Uh, but that is the good thing about it. I'm not saying this, this is not, it's not like it's bad, but it's, um, It's that's what it is. 
that's what it is. So those are different types. So yeah, VASA is supposed to be uh, causing some degree of skin protection. I think broadly speaking, results-wise, certainly looking at results, I'm not sure whether you can convincingly say that one type of liposuction is significantly better than another type of liposuction in getting results. I think it's very much operator-dependent patient selection. So I think it would be hard to say that you can get a better result with one result with one type of liposuction compared to another but um you might think one sounds better to you so you might want to fancy that one